like to invite uh, Mr. Arun Lakhani, who is Chairman and Managing Director of Vishwaraj Infrastructure to the dais, please. Mr. Lakhani, please. Uh, Mr. Lakhani is, uh, had uh, a lot of experience working in PPP uh, in both water and road sectors, although the reason he's here today, of course, is uh, because uh, his organization is implementing uh, uh, India's, I think, biggest, biggest PPP project uh, in Nagpur, uh, which is 24 by 7 water supply scheme for the city of Nagpur. Uh, the PPP project uh, has been operational and Vishwaraj Infrastructure is doing this in partnership with Veolia. And there is also uh, another PPP project which is a 200 MLD wastewater treatment and reuse project uh, uh, which, which Vishwaraj Infrastructure is implementing and which is the reason that we invited Mr. Lakhani to be here. Uh, Mr. Lakhani believes in taking risks and being the pioneer in uh, innovations which is reflected in the project portfolio of the group. Uh, he has a master's degree in petrochemical engineering and uh, uh, may I now request uh, Mr. Lakhani to share with us his perspective uh, and the format is going to be he's going to have remarks and then there's going to be a Q&A session after that. Mr. Lakhani, please. Good morning, friends. At the outset, uh, I will, you know, pay my compliments, congratulate India Infrastructure for bringing up this topic of sewage treatment and reuse, which somehow over a period of our five decades, six decades of independence has never been on the social agenda or the government agenda. This I mean, this I am saying with the figures, like, you know, the, if you see the figures, means today we have almost 38 percent population, like more than almost 38 70, or 39 crore people, they live in urban cities. In the class 1 cities, we have only 30 percent installed capacities of STP, and in class 2 cities, we have only 3 percent. Now, we are not uh, speaking of, you know, STPs not functioning or not being, you know, properly, uh, you know, cleaning the, the, the sewage. We are talking where there is no STP plant or no STPs installed Which per day, untreated into the environment. Now, this is like a, 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 you know, the scale is so massive. Now, as the urbanization is growing, this scale is going to go up and up. It will be three and a half times more by 2050, taking it to some, something like 100,000 plus MLDs. This is contaminating today all the surface water, the ground water. If we, because we are also doing the water distribution in Nagpur city, most of the wells are contaminated. They are unusable because somewhere sewage is, you know, contaminating it. You know, there are like court cases, you know, by the well-minded people to stop pollution of the surface lakes. This is, this contamination is becoming a health hazard. Now, today we know 21% of our diseases are waterborne. We lose more than 8 crore percent days, you know, because of the waterborne diseases. And as UNICEF says that if we invest one rupee into the into water treatment, we save eight rupees on the health budget. Question is like why then this is not a priority? Why we have not, you know, come to a stage where sewage treatment is given due importance? The answer there is the in our federal structure. The sewage treatment is a responsibility of urban local body. Now, urban local bodies, except few exceptions, are generally cash strapped. They, the low tax regime that we have on the urban local bodies do not allow them to have a lot of, you know, surplus cash unless they have industries in their area or the, you know, large corporate offices. So, within the ULB's limited cash flow available, you know, their priorities are like drinking water, roads, cleanliness, electricity. So STP automatically finds, you know, a very low priority on the list because, you know, it does not directly affect people. 
So if there is no water in any area, say for a particular day, there will be a UN cry and the, you know, the political leadership and the leadership in all will be forced to take steps to immediately address the issue.